Why no political big with the South has followed P2B to Labour Party? Charles Anyago. Welcome to the news and thank you for telling me to listen. Please subscribe to our channel. To get notified when we post hot juicy news update, please click on the notification bell. Charles Anyago, the spokesman of the People's Democratic Party presidential campaign council, had dismissed claims that P2B is going to guess most of the vote in the southeastern region, thereby crippling the past of the People's Democratic Party in the region. Speaking during an interview earlier today, he maintained that the People Democratic Party do not feel threatening in the Southeast and as a matter of fact, the presidential collection, the presidential candidate is still going to win big in the region. He said that the reason is because no political big week, lawmaker or even governors from the region after the PDP indicated. After he said that the reason is because no political big wig, lawmaker, or even political governors from the region under the PDP have followed P2B to his new party. He said, and I quote, Since our brother P2B left the People Democratic Party and joined the Labour Party, how many lawmakers and political big wigs in the South has followed him? That is because they know that it is time for them to follow who know road, and in this case, Atiku is that man that knows the road. There are five governors in the South East. I am too sure that there is one of them that is in the Labour Party. What we can tell you is that Atiku will win the vote of the Southeast because the people believe that he has got the ability to make he has got the ability to because people believe that he has got the ability to be able to do most of the things that they're asking for at the moment. So Charles Anago is coming out to say uh, uh, P2B, you know, they know that uh, what's it called? That nobody has followed him to his party and know that and all that. See eh? Let me tell you, had it been, I uh, was hearing about Anjim Paris, Anjim, I was hearing about, I think, Ojuzo Kalu, I was hearing about him. Hmm? I've been hearing about, uh, what's it called? The People Democratic Party. They are not supporting their own because it's their own. I've been hearing of other presidential candidates, but I think I have not seen, I have not heard. I've not seen, I've not heard where, um, what's it called, where uh, another presidential candidate has come. No, no, no. Okay. Only a fool or an el educated illiterate and those who benefit from the problem of our dear country, Nigeria, are those who is against be that ambition. Well, like I said before, um, like I said before, uh, every, everybody, everybody has the right or the choice to choose whoever they want to. Whoever they want to support. The only thing is that if, you know, we make the right choice, we're going to enjoy the dividends. If we do not, we're going to, you know, bear the consequences. Okay, the politicians from the South East are not following P2B because he does not give shishi. Hmm. Okay, Obi is the next progressive president of Nigeria. Stop wasting time and money. You think so? All right, you miss it. This is not journalism. There is no being weak South as and they don't have choice, except they want somebody to carry their head for them. How many presidential candidates do you have in the South East? And that is why it is alarming that even the figure that they have, they are not being bothered. I think they are looking for your ill-gotten money. Be careful, because the amount of money you spend on theirs will give you vote. Well, I would like mm -hmm. us to talk the talk, you know. Okay, we don't need big wigs. They are problem and expensive to maintain. Uh, here do we have lost you? We prefer small wigs. Well, uh, I've said it before that Labour Party, even as small as Labour Party is, hmm? I was saying Labour Party should be very selective in, you know, um, they should be very selective in coming into, they should be very selective in coming into, how do I put it? You know? That is how it, as in, in accepting people to the party. They should be selective, very selective. Hmm? Not just that uh, because, you know, uh, they are a new party, but because, you know, it is going to, it's going to, it's going to save them a lot. It will, it's going to, I mean, save, uh, yes, it's going to save them a lot. And if not done, it is also going to cost them a lot. Okay, um... Somebody is saying they don't need big wigs, they are problem and expensive to maintain because we have lost you, we prefer small wigs. Well, 
I will say again that um, Charles Sanago saying there is no political business in the South is followed P to B. That is not even, that is not it. Whether they follow him or, see, today, if the Southeastern region, all the leaders come together and say, oh, this is, you know, that is just it. Do you understand? They don't, they don't, they don't, the Southeasterners, what I know is that they don't do things because somebody don't, did do it. Like I said, there are other political, there are other people who are political. How do I even put it? There are other people who are politicians, but did not receive the support, who are also from the Southeastern region, but did not receive those kind of support. I tell you. He could not. So it is not a matter of, oh, Peter B is from the southeastern region and that is why people is going to vote for him. That's not true. People are voting for him. Even his own kinsmen are looking at him from the angle of, um, how do I put it? They're looking at it for, from the angle of Peter B is, you know, he's inter he has, uh, what's it called? They're looking at the quality of his person. They're looking up. They're looking about the quality of a person and all of that. Hmm? So coming out to say because there is no political big wigs, you know, that is why people are supporting. That is not true. All right. Um, so coming out to say P2B is supporting, is being supported because, you know, of a southeastern region. No, no, no. Okay. Okay. Um, I think they are looking for your ill-gotten money. Be careful because no amount of money... You spend will give you their votes. Do not mind this, P, this irrational. They're parading themselves as PD and PC leaders. Well, like I said before, I do not agree that, you know, there is no political big risk. And I am saying that if the um, Labour Party have not gotten the aspect of, you know, the little detail where at least. Okay. So, uh, 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 that is why I'm even suggesting that, you see, even the Labour Party, that they should try and make sure it's not a, a how, how, how do I put it? It's not a, it's not a kind of party where, oh, it's going to be open to all and sundry, you know, everybody come. They should have, they should have rules, they should have things that they put in place that will make it difficult for you to just come in and, you know, bash out. You know, you have, they have to make sure you are, you are in harmony with, Making Nigeria better, making Nigeria better is your own, how do I even put it? Making Nigeria better is your own purpose, as in coming to serve the people is what you want to do. All right, on this note, you have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for telling me to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy.